65 degrees. It gets a little warmer this week too, Art. I'll talk to you more about that as we move through the week. But right now, a beautiful view in Birmingham as we're overlooking the Magic City. We're talking temperatures in the 60s pretty much area-wide. A few spots have dipped into the upper 50s like Hamilton and Coleman. Both seeing 59 degrees right now. Elsewhere, low to mid 60s. As for your forecast this evening, we'll stay in the 60s through the next hour by 6 p.m., 57. And you'll notice the sky condition changing just a little bit as we near midnight. Clouds will be on the increase tonight, but temperatures not dropping all that much. Staying in the 50s even through midnight. And then overnight tonight, a few spots dip into the upper 40s like Gadsden and Asheville. 48 and 49, respectively. The rest of us low to mid 50s. And what's interesting is that's nearly a 20 degree jump in morning lows from this morning when we started out in the low 30s. Tomorrow, low 50s. Highs for tomorrow, back in the upper 60s to low 70s. Winds will be out of the south. And unfortunately, I am going to include some wet weather and some gray skies for your Wednesday. So even though we're seeing 70s, we may not see a lot of sunshine. And 70 is clear sky for us right now. But what I'm tracking is this wet mess in the midsection of the nation. It's also producing some pretty active storms in Oklahoma. Now, by the time this cold front reaches us, it's going to dissipate quite a bit. It's going to weaken. We're not going to see the threat for severe weather as great as we are in the Great Plains right now. Here's what that looks like for tomorrow. We're on a one out of five. For severe weather, basically our biggest threat for tomorrow is going to be some of those stronger winds, especially in West Alabama. No tornado threat, large hail flooding, not going to be a concern for tomorrow. But we may need to watch out for some of those thunderstorms to produce some stronger wind gusts. All right, here's what we're talking about on the timeline here. So overnight tonight through tomorrow morning in the 50s, clouds increase early. One o'clock is when we're going to start tracking that initial line of rain moving through. From one to three, moving through central and then into East Alabama by six o'clock up through Gadsden down towards Alabaster. After 6 p.m., most of this moves south of that 2059 corridor and then quickly clearing out early on your Thanksgiving day. Temperatures will be a bit cooler in the 30s and 40s to our north Thursday morning, but temperatures will rebound quickly Thursday afternoon back to around 70 degrees. So it's going to be a nice Thanksgiving. And notice, no rain for your Thanksgiving day, but we could see a few showers into the weekend. So I am going to monitor the wet weather for your game day. Iron Bowl on Saturday. Most of the rain Saturday, though, will be early. And then it moves south through the afternoon. So we could actually dodge a bullet as far as the rain goes for the actual game time on Saturday. More wet weather is back, though, for us on Sunday. And that's a look at your Storm Team 7-Day Forecast. All right, Ashley, thanks a lot.